Facts. You know how it go, man. We uh we got Marvel Studios What If um season two. Um, if you don't know what What If is, What If is um basically what was it, like an anthology um animated show for the MCU. Basically, it's all canon, I guess you want to call it, but it's like it's all random stories and then it's all connected at the end, like some shit like that. But this season two, um, you know, Marvel just they continue to drop. You know, what you what you got there? Um, so I'm excited to see what they got for the what if season two. Just in a sense because so far cinematically they have been failing. So animated wise, that's a different you know different genre, different sector to jump into. And then they were successfully with the first, surprisingly successful because again it was good. they were super heavily in the cinematic where they were pre and praised so heavily into that. And so for them to drop the animated. People were high hopes, but it, again, it was a concerning thing because, again, they got their rep from the cinematic type view. So for them to have that and then jump into the animated and it being a good success, going into season two right now that they have not really no cinematic success right now, and then seeing what they can do with this cartoon version of the story and see if that they can kind of push that and have some, like, you know, good quotas or that so they can be like, all right, well, you know, we're not doing too good cinematically, but animated, we're still, you know, we can make some more stories, try to do something with that. Because, again, it's not like people wouldn't watch that. We're just literally looking for a good story. We're looking for character that we can fall back into. And then with the What If Saga, it really opens that gate for you to do that because it's possibilities on possibilities when it comes to that. So I'm looking forward to see what they got new coming into, what characters. And then, two, how is this will apply into the cinematic, you know, story. So I'm just just to get dive into it, see what's time now. This kid puts on quite a show. I have eyes on the target. It does not look all that threatening. Looks can be deceiving, your highness. Are you sure you do not want any backup? Nah, I'm great with kids. Just be careful. I don't think I can bear to narrate what might happen next. Darcy, we got a code red. The Avengers Tower's been overtaken. On Christmas? What is this, con air? No, wait, under siege? No, 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 oh, that's not it. Hey, John McClane, focus! Boom. Okay. Okay. I'm going to say the main scene that stood out to me is that little gladiator ring when he was all in vehicles and all that. I was, I was fucking with that. Um, yeah. A nine day event. So they ain't doing nine weeks. Because, you know, usually anytime Marvel drop content is spread out throughout weeks. So they're doing nine, nine days straight for the holiday, I guess, like that. But um, I'm fucking with it. Uh, it's like... Since it's a what if series, you really don't know what to expect because it don't follow any 
anything normal that most people know about. It's all a mix up of people or a mix up of identities, certain people, different different superheroes and stuff like that. Lesser known characters like that girl Darcy. She's not that. In, she's really just an a extra side character for somebody else. Like why is she getting spotlight? You know. You know what I'm saying. So it's really just a not. You don't know what you to expect throughout this show. What you thinking, man? Um, very interesting. I'm liking what I'm seeing. One surprising thing is that y'all not really seeing too much of the, you know, this, uh, y'all, you're not really seeing too much of the, the, the phase four characters looking like OGs and looking like alterations of the OGs. If you see it, like it ain't really looking like they throwing too much of the new stuff in. Um, look interesting. The little storylines that I've seen. All of them pretty much looking like I want to like grass to see what's going on in it. Uh, just staying from the character standpoint, it looks like they're gonna tie in some great characters for you to be like, all right, man, I want to see this version or I wonder what this version. And then they gonna have some come back from like season one. And then seeing Doctor Strange pulling the strings in the background still, so he's evil Doctor Strange looking like he's still gonna be that one that you gotta be like, all right, what's going on with him? So it looked like a very interesting, fun trailer. Again, when he had iterated about the nine days, that's cool. That's very new. Um, I hope it's not more giving in that sense that they don't have hope, but I think it's more in the sense of let's just get it done with. If I, I, that's what I feel, it's like a kind of let's get it done with. See what the people are gonna do. It's holiday season, so folks gonna be at the crib watching it. So it makes mm-hmm. no sense to really stretch it out when we can kind of just hit them with a, like one, two, and while they're at home. Yeah, and it's an animated season, I mean, an animated series. So yeah. it's like so people are not gonna, gonna be waiting week to week for that, especially nah. for like where, however I mean. But I think they did it like that. Like, the last yeah, I feel like a lot. I mean, yeah, they did. I, don't, I mean, it, but it like you said, I think out. I think them doing that played into what you said about how Marvel a little iffy right now. So who really finna sit around and wait nine weeks for some animated? Animated shit when niggas barely some way stop caring about the the, um, cinematic. the, yeah, the cinematic shit. Yeah, but then I'm, looking at the animation too is very uh, upgrade from the first one. Like the, the first anime was good, but yeah. this one looks crisp, like yeah. really good animation going forward. Then hope they you know give me some anime vibes. You know Marvel. Um, you seen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? They kind of jumped into that a little. Hey. Y'all can animate this. Dude. Give us some fight scenes. That's just like yo, like I seen with the Hulk. That not Hulk with Thor. That one little scene where he, he slim, and then, yeah, that looked fire. If I can get a lot more of that good power scaling and good like you know stuff that you can't do cinematically because of the budget maybe, but animated wise you can just you make whatever. a big scale. Let animated. me see that. Let me see that. So I mean, y'all, y'all did what y'all did on season one. Cause Doctor Strange and um, I gotta rewatch that. Doctor Strange and which McCall it? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Um. Um, well, no, um, Ultron, y'all, they was they oh. was throwing, they was throwing universe. I don't even remember. I got it was some it, it was some stuff in that. So I just want to hope they bring that same type of energy in season two. But yeah, that's the you know Marvel Studios. The what if? Yeah, what season if season two, man? Disney Plus, goddamn December twenty second for the holiday season, man. Mm-hmm. Ginger X. 